I'm gonna drown right now. Three, two, one. I no, I, I can't breathe. I'm right here. Come on. Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking time to join me. I am Morjax. This is Rockwin. And I've got it. So I sat here and thought and thought and thought like Pooh Bear sitting on a log. And I finally figured it out. I unscrambled the letters. It is please meet me on March 11th. So uh, January, February, March is 3 and 11 is 1-1. One, one. So we're going to try 3-1-1. One, one. See if that works. Okay, uh, here we go. 3-1-1. One, one. Yes! Okay, first message. Gemma, where are you? We've been trying to get in touch with you all week. Haven't you been watching the news? I think you should come home just to be safe. Anyways, please call me back. I'm really worried about you. Gemma, have you lost your mind? Please, I know what you're doing and I understand, but it's not safe to go there right now. You know this. Call me back, okay? Please. Please bring Gemma to the hyperbaric oxygen therapy room this morning and we can get started with her first session. The monoplace chamber has an air mask that will need to be set at 21%. This is a very important step in preventing oxygen toxicity. Dr. Yoshida and the team will be there to facilitate. 21%. Alright, let's go try that. I presume that this room is open now that we've got... Yep, okay. Set it to precisely 21%. This looks like a machine right here. Nope. Gemma, where are you? We're running out of time. Don't pull the third level lever or we'll all be underwater. I, but I pulled along I pulled the third lever like quite some time ago. Okay, 21%. Monoplace, chamber, air, breath, mask, oxygen level now set to 21%. Let's go in that thing. Woo! That was weird. We were in like Gemma's... Like Gemma's coma? I guess? I don't know, man. Oh, Gemma. I'm so glad to see you. Ugh, what a weird week it's been. I can't help but feel uncomfortable with all of these Kanko walking around. They've been here for three days. When are they going to leave? Oh, I don't really mind. It's fun when the Kanko come and trade with us, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose. But still, you've heard about what the Kanko are like. They're no good. I'll be happy when they're gone. Are we up in the skies now? Are we in the sky... Skyland? The Kanko don't belong here. I don't care what kind of goods they bring from across the Great River. It's no use to me. Oh, hey, Gemma. How have you been? This is weird. I still don't know where we are. Man, I love being able to trade with the Kanko, but there's always a part of me that can't wait until they leave our lands. Man, you guys are all racist. <laughs> Good morning, dear. How are you this fine morning? Good, thank you. I just stopped by to see what the Kanko traders brought this time. Hmm, yes, well, please be careful, Gemma. The Kanko labels may look different from us, but in, uh, may look like us, but inside they are very different. They aren't to be trusted. Of course, Elder. Oh, hey, look who it is! Kanko Carpenter. Would you believe it? Uh, that it took 500 Sealer Berries to dye that cloth. I helped my mom dye it, and my hands were purple for weeks. Hey, hey. Oh, um. Are you okay? Did you need help with anything? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm not supposed to... Not supposed to talk to strangers? I understand. Well, my name is Winston. I'm Gemma. Now we're not strangers anymore. Hey, do you like flowers? Oh, I love them. I have a garden at home I tend to every day. Now that we're not strangers anymore, I have a gift for you. Come with me. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. I think we're up in, like, the cloud land. They were talking about their cloud... 
compatriots. Oh, what? Oh, where's the kid again? What the heck? Uh, can we do a thing? Ooh. Jump down. Getting ready to run, baby. Uh, go, Marjax, go! Locked. Okay, we're running a little bit short on time. We're gonna make it. It's gonna be super. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Six seconds, five seconds. There we go. Ah. Much butter. Oh, so is if I'm, I'm assuming this is a history, we found the gate key. Uh, this is flashbacks in like Gemma's mind, maybe. I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around it. I think that we're going to get a little more clarity as we go. But I think this is how she met Winston and we're kind of retracing some past events that she was either a... a uh, I guess a Korean exchange student in Japan or maybe the other way around. I think that's right. Korean exchange student in Japan. Here's another memory. Some nice music. Oh, okay. We can move again. Gemma, you made it. I was so worried about you. Hugs. I've been waiting all spring to share this with you. Come this way. They shouldn't they shouldn't be able to see us from here. Have you ever heard of the Hikaribana? No, I haven't. Hikaribana, am I saying that right? Hikaribana is the name of the Kanko tribe's most important festival. It's named after a very special flower that grows every spring. Look down by the riverbank. You see those big flowers? Shaw? Winston, they're so beautiful. And they're glowing. Every year, the Conco Luna flies lay their eggs inside those flowers. Come spring, the eggs hatch and the Luna flies feed off the nectar inside. But until they learn how to fly, the Luna flies are weak and vulnerable. So it's the Luna flies that make the flowers glow. Yes, but the, re the really special part is about to begin. The Luna flies and the Hikaribana are actually very good friends, you know. What do you mean? In return for food and shelter, the Luna flies help the Hikaribana before they fly away. As they practice learning how to fly, they literally lift the flower up with them. You're lying. No, no, it's really true. As the flower floats through the air, the Luna flies fluttering wings help spread the flower's pollen across the land. Gemma, look. That's cool. I wonder if this is based on a any kind of true thing. Not that like butterflies are lifted and flowers off into wherever, but it just is kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. This reminds me a little bit of the uh, the cherry blossom festival. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Winston. I'm so glad you could finally see it. Hey, is there someone over there? Uh-oh, they heard us. Quick, follow me. What do they care for over here? Or have I just left? What's up, guys? I can't go that way. It's too dangerous. I don't, they're having a picnic. It does not look that dangerous. I don't know, man. Seems pretty legit. Okay. Here we go. Are we back in the hospital? It looks like someone's letter. Read it? Yes. Hi, Mom and Dad. How are you? I'm really enjoying studying abroad here in Japan. The people are nice. I'm getting good grades. I sure miss the Korean food, though. Do you know that at, a Kore at Korean restaurants here, they make you buy the appetizers? Even the kimchi. Isn't that weird? Oh, and I met a girl. I really like her a lot. I'm not sure... I'm sure you will too. 
Anyways, I'd better get going. Take care. I love you both, Winston. So Winston was the student traveling to Japan and met... Uh, I don't know if I've got my facts straight, but okay. Police had confirmed 1,400 people missing across the affected areas. It is feared that the final death count could rise sharply once a full picture of the catastrophe emerges. Okay, some kind of catastrophe. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation is expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. Okay. It only took a few minutes for the 30-foot wave to wash the town away with terrifying force. Let's water the plant. Get more water, baby. Doop -a -doo. It'd be faster just to use the toilet. <laughs> yes, let's climb up. A large bear with two heart-shaped pink get-well balloons. Go through. What have we found? A Hikaribana? There's Winston up there. Winston's dad, your mother and I have noticed that, well, you've been spending a lot of time with that Ebo girl, Gemma. Yes, I really enjoy spending time with her. I feel like we have a bond that I've never felt before. Well, we're happy that you found a good friend. But Winston, she is... She is a friend, am I right? What do you mean? Winston, we're open-minded Liebels. We know that tragedy with the Igbo tribe has many benefits. Trading, trading with them. I bought some very nice artwork from an Igbo woman. Is it Libo, maybe? Why are you telling me this? Winston, you're young. There are a lot of things in the world you don't understand. I'm old enough to know that I love her. Have you lost your mind? No. I've never been more sure of anything in all my life. Do you even remember what the Libo did to us? To our people? What they show you and how they are inside are completely different. You may think you can trust them, but you can't. Dear, he needs to hear this. It's for his own good. No. What did you say? Gemma is not like that. That's not how she is. You leave me no choice. You are no longer allowed to see Gemma. Not as friends, not as anything. How old are they supposed to be? Dot dot dot. Oh, we can go through here. I wonder if it lets us go this way. can't let them see me. I suppose that might happen. Alright, we're getting a little information about uh, Gemma and Winston. This flipping back and forth is kind of weird. Patient log. Gemma will have to be transferred as we cannot provide, provide necessary treatment for her at this facility. They hate me. Did he really come for me? I'm so alone. I'm so afraid. Okay, guess we're supposed to Supposed to go this way. Urgent. Flooding has caused extensive damage in the basement and first floors. Hi, dude. Don't look at me like that. Don't be a uh, casualty of structural instability. Watch out. Okay. So, don't get hit by those dudes. 20 March, I hope that help will arrive soon. My staff has been working 24-hour shifts just to keep things moving. Without electricity and all our medical supplies dwindling, I fear the worst, but I will not give up hope. All right, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. What's in here? It's locked. Leroy Jenkins. Eep. Do-do-do-do-do. Womp-womp. Do-do-do-do-do. Womp-womp. 
do 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 do. There we go. Staff room break rotation updated. Will you still remember me when it when it is all over? Oh, bro, don't touch me, bro. Let me in, let me in. Okay, the door's locked. Look at the sign. Urgent. To open this door, you must turn on both of the door's light bulbs. There are two red light bulbs near the door. The right light bulb is red. The left light bulb is green. Right is red. Left is green. Right, red, right, red. Red rum, red rum. Uh, they're gonna touch my nerds. I don't want it. Don't want it. I don't want it. Peter Petter. The locker. A weather journal lays by itself. Read it. Yes. 20 March, our small generators are pumped. Don't touch me. Okay. Our small generators are pumping water out of the basement at a rate of about a centimeter an hour. We can compensate for some of our losses by improvising. Unfortunately, we still lost 11 patients this week to the harsh conditions. Jeez. So there was some hospital that... Oh, no, he's going to touch me. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we can go down into that. Uh, there's a thing right over here, so let's go hit that. doop a doop a doo So there was some kind of tragedy, and it sounds to me it's... Oh, no, what? That wasn't enough. I was resting on my laurels. Um, there was some kind of tragedy, and to me it sounds a little Fukushima-esque. All right, bro, what are these holes? What do they do? What does it mean? Auxiliary room, right. Let's climb up. 12 March, I ventured into the basement today. Much to my dismay, I found what we had lost. Is, uh, we had lost far more supplies than expected. At this rate, we'll have to relocate several of our patients, but I fear that the transfer would be the death of many of them. Management pamphlets, empty first aid kits. Letter, let's read it. I don't care what they say. I know in my heart that this is right. When I've saved up enough, I will return to the place we first met and we can start a new life together away from all this. I assume it's still talking about Winston and Gemma? This seems like it's all kind of focused around them. Oh, that's lit up now. Right on. See ya, sucker. Auxiliary room left. I'll bet the light switch does it. 19 March. How long will it be before help arrives? We wrap them in blankets. We work 24-hour shifts, but unless we receive help, I don't think we can hold out much longer. Yeah, so whatever... It sounds like there was some kind of an accident. Why isn't that lit now? And it reminds me of uh, a little bit of uh, Fukushima Daiichi and that whole thing. The light is not on. Why? Ooh, it's green now. Oh! Off, off, green, off, red. All right. Well, let's turn it green. Now I know. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Okay, we gotta go up to... There's a door up there. Oh, God. I knew he was there, and I almost walked right into him. Okay. <gasps> you gotta hold your breath. No cheating. It's gonna be great. Ah, oh, the current is too strong. You've got to kid me. I'm gonna drown right now. Three, two, one. I, no, I, I can't breathe, I'm right here. Come on. 
And we swim and we fall, hold my hand through it all. Oh, how long did it go back? I didn't save for a really long time. Auto save. That's like an hour after my last save point. Okay, good. <gasps> is this green? It is. Is this red? It is. All right. Jeez. Okay. That's all good. We're good. No problem. Drowning is not a big deal, you guys. Not a big deal. Totally fine. You guys remind me a lot of the forest Kadama in Princess Mononoke, but, um... Eh, he's gonna touch me. I feel like Benny Hill. Just running around in circles, man. Um, but these guys are evil. Or at least misguided or whatever. They're doing their own thing. Start draining. Okay, now I bet we can go back downstairs and there will be less water. We can go in into the thing now. Hop it up. And they're off. Yay, no water. Okay. So, that's all good. And I don't have to drown this time. <laughs> That's still locked off to our right. Right, a box puzzle, is it? Just like Lon Lon Ranch. I'm all over it, baby. What's up now, Lon Lon Ranch? Okay, now that door's open. So we shall go to that place. See what we can see. I hope that there's some, like, clarity... That's not... I, I hope that there's some, like, closure on this whole thing that's been going on that's, like, simple enough for my brain to comprehend. Because I am a simple man. Door's locked. What's all this, then? I'm taking a nap. I'm done. Game over. Okay, let's keep going, though. Oh, I can answer it. You're gonna have to... Move them, they won't make it through the night. Take the back exit and check the staff bulletin boards for access codes. If the water doesn't reach the second floor, we should be okay. We'll hang on as long as we can. Go before it's too... Alright. Attention all hospital staff. Urgent. Emergency code. Update. Gate B1. 289. 289. 289. Won't survive the night is written backwards on the wall 14 eight, I'm gonna write these down 1480 I think is how many people died so gate B1 is 289 all right I'm glad I have my notebook right here because I probably wouldn't remember that ready one two three go get him tiger Okay, it's gonna be great. Here's March written on the wall again in code. Oh no, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. Uh, B1 passcode is 289. Gimme, 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 gimme. See ya. Oh good, they're not still coming. All right. Oh, let's stop and pick up some needles before we go. Urgent B2 is 371, 371, 371, 371. Here we go again. We got another three thing. Here comes the Smobies right there. 371, 371. Pitter patter. Okay. No. One, two, three, seven, one. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. See? Everything's fine. What did I tell you? I don't like it. I don't like the flashy bits. There's a shovel on the wall, though, that I did not get. I will get a little respite. Envoy efficient. Winston of the Conco. Gemma of the Libo. Even though your families disapprove of your union, the heart of the forest have heard, has heard your pleas. 
Because of your feelings, because your feelings for one another are pure and true, Morizora has allowed me to perform the ceremony of the envoy, that today in the forest you may be wed. You may kiss the bride, and you may kiss the groom. I'm so happy right now. I want nothing more in the world than to be here with you. Parting today will be the most difficult thing I've ever done, but I promise you, Gemma, once, once we've walked through all of the seasons once more, I will meet you on the River Isle, and we will start our lives together somewhere new. Mm-hmm. Hurry, Gemma, you must go now, before your family finds us. I love you. And I you. So, I wonder how much of this is parallel to their human relationship as well. Because the Liebel Gemma is also in a coma in one version of this all. And I think it is Ibo, I-I-B-O, because it would, it would probably be capitalized. But I promise you, Gemma, once we've walked through it all, all the seasons once more, from spring until winter, I will meet you where we first met, and I'll start, we will start our lives together. All right. Winter. Okay, winter's last, right? He said spring until winter, right? Is that a thing? That looks like probably spring, maybe? Neatly wrapped gifts. Spring. What are you? Uh, I'm presuming that's fall. Patient number 138. A box of tissues. Attention all hospital staff packages. We've received a shipment of permissions from a generous farmer. Oh, provisions. Come and enjoy the sweet autumn treat in the staff room. Eh? Autumn? Eh? Eh? And this must be summer. Oh! Looks like summer. A package. No, a page from a pamphlet labeled Sendai Summer Events. All right. Uh, translation, please? Can I get help on the translation? Goshiki no Tanzaku. Watashi ga kaita. Ohoshi sama kira kira sora kara miteru. Don't know what that means. Translation would be helpful. If any of you can help me out with that, spring, summer, whatever snow does in summer. Okay, there we go. Fall and winter. Boop. You did it. You, sitting right there, you did it. Thanks for helping me. I really do want that translation. That would be pretty rad. This has gone far enough. Dear, wait. If we do this, Winston may never forgive us. This is for his own good. I'm not letting my only son run off with an Ebo. I'm not going to... I'm going to put a stop to this once and for all. Hey, Dad. Where are you going? Just out for a walk. I need some fresh air. With a packed bag? It's in case it gets late and I need to camp out. You're going to meet that Ebo girl, aren't you? Uh, sure. Don't lie to me! Her name is Gemma, and yes, I am going to meet her. We're going to start our life together far away from here. So, you know, if you're a parent, don't, uh, don't, like, exile your kids? <laughs> Since you aren't mature enough to make these decisions on your own, I'm afraid I'm going to have to make them for you. What are you talking about? Click. Dad? Dad, wait, it doesn't have to be like this. Huh? No. Please don't do this. You have to let me out. Gemma. 
So it's kind of weird because he's old enough to get married, but he's young enough that his parents have a key to lock him into his own room. It's weird. Oh, okay, here we go. Now I'm going to be waiting for him. He's not going to be here. Gemma's sister. Gemma, don't try and stop me. Gemma, wait. Gemma, have you lost your mind? Please, I know what you're doing and I understand. But it's not safe to go there right now. You know this. What other choice do I have? Mom and Dad would never allow me to be with Hakanko. Our whole tribe looks at him like he's some kind of a monster. But I love him. I'm sorry, sister, but I have to do this. So, 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 see ya! Can you let... Oh! Can you float away out a window or something? It hatched! All this talking is making me yawn. I hope it's not coming through on the mic, but... I'm like bleary-eyed because I'm yawning. Because I'm talking. Grab it! I'll do whatever it takes to reach you. Do 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 do. Pitter patter pitter patter. That flying leap. Oh man, your boat is badass. Gemma. Is he like following it or something, or did he just let it? Did he just release it? Oh, hell! I really like that insignia. It's a nice one. I don't know why they give you little breaks like that. I guess it's just to kind of do like a scene change. Gemma! Oh, wait, her bow was just flipped. Super deep underwater. Is this when she's in a coma? Gemma, I'm so sorry I was late. I'm afraid that your last conscious thought was that I abandoned you. Gemma, if you can hear me, I never once stopped thinking of you. I promise. Uh, I hit space too fast. Please, please know this. So, all right. Here comes Chef Panko. Or Panky. Panko. <laughs> Panky. Hey, you kids okay? Hey, Chief, there's some kids on the beach. They don't look so good. Mr. Panky. So he doesn't want to build a boat because that's when Gemma got... got drowned. Learn, teach your kids how to swim, kids. I mean, adults with kids. Hello? Are you talking to me? Uh, are you talking to me? Yes, are you Gemma? You can hear me? Yes. Oh, that is such a great relief. The only person who seems to be able to hear me is an old man named Uma. I asked him if he would bring me something that is very dear to me. Your wedding ring. How did you know that? Winston thought someone had stolen it. He was so, he was so worried and very upset. I feel kind of bad now because I thought Uma had stolen it. But I guess he actually was bringing it to you after all. Wait, you know my husband? Who, Winston? Oh yeah, he's my neighbor. He's always been really nice to me. Dot, 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 dot. You know, he misses you a lot. Thank you for coming to visit me. It's really quite lonely these days. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. Your company has cheered me up greatly. Might I ask you one favor before you go? Of course. I would very much like for Winston to see what was inside my the box next to my bed. It's locked, but you can open it with this. Gemma's box key! You got the key! I'll make sure to open the box and bring him what's inside. Thank you so much. Gemma, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. When you feel lonely or scared, what do you do to feel better? Hmm, well... Sometimes I hum this one song. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Even 
with my eyes closed, I hear you speak to me. The lights that you shine stay with me all the time. It's the brightest red. I like the cherry blossoms. You learned Mori no Kokoro part one. Kokoro. Kokoro? All right. Take care, my friend. See you soon, Gemma. So that's the first thing that we needed. Was that the thing we needed right here? This thing. That thing right there. Boink. Done it. Boink. Okay. Gemma's box. It's box time. Oh, mom's here now, too. Mom was gone for a long time. She seems very unperturbed about this whole thing. What are you two doing in here? Wait. Where did you get that? Did that come from Gemma's box? Uh, I... It was the flower that I sent to her. She received it. Then that means... She knew that I came for her. Nice. Nice. Thank you so, mu so much for showing this to me. It means more than you know. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to help the villagers before. I realize now that I must try my hardest every day. Come talk to me outside and I'll see about building that boat you, uh, so you can talk to Tony. Again, thank you. All right. Why couldn't I talk to you inside? We're like two steps away, though. Sure thing, you bet. My first customer, you'll be my first customer in ages. Bring me ten pieces of bamboo and a sail, and I'll get right to work. Danielle, the seamstress, will sew a sail for you if you give her this pattern. Sail pattern! You know, I haven't headed off to the right, but I feel like they want me to head this way. Oh, nice. Okay. So that sleeping Liebel is gone now. The seamstress is where we need to go. And I think that's the bakery. <clears throat> Can you make me a sail? Wait, is that a sail pattern from Winston? Uh, yep. Does that mean he's decided to start building boats again? Hmm, I think so. Well, that's certainly good news. Anyways, I can make you a sail, but you've got to bring me the materials. Tell you what, uh, get me three seats, sheets of Korshal wool from the Sky Ranch, and I'll do it. Sky Ranch? Uh, yeah, where they keep the Korshals. You look like you've never been there before. I haven't! Ha, okay, kid, here's what you gotta do. Just find a really tall emerald beanstalk, and that should get you there. They usually grow at the top of the village where the cliffs meet the horizon. Only problem is that a storm probably knocked most of them over, so the villagers have been planting new ones. Those might take a while to grow. Well, let's go take a peek. One day I'd like to join the Liebel Protection Agency. Don't tell anyone this, but I think I'm really close to figuring out where the secret hideout is. So it's a sapling. Maybe we can feed it water like we did before? Don't really know. We need a bunch of bamboo. Let's see. We got 13 bamboo, so that's fine. Actually, you know what? We should cut more bamboo if that's like going into our inventory. I didn't realize that. Yeah. All right, nice. Um, bum, 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 bum. I gotta find a beanstalk that's functional, but I think I'm gonna leave that for next episode so this doesn't get too terribly long. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rockwin, and uh, do tune in next time for more. Morjax Plays is 100% calorie free even if you eat the device you're watching on. But don't do that because I will miss you.